21st Century Dangers The Marma Threat Germline chimerism is where your hands or your face or your brain or your heart are unrelated genetically to your balls or to your ovaries. Now, it has a vernacular etymology that we're going to explore next. Germs primarily just reproduce. They are contagion and they kill individuals. Lines connect things, one thing to another, and chimeras are the most fearsome beasts in the skies. They can fly, they have snakes for tails, they have lion's teeth, they are part dragon, part snake, part eagle, part lion, and the marmosets ride them like valkyries to our doom. So, the first description link that I'm putting out there is one to Reverend Adam Smasher's excellent video on the Marma threat. He kicked ass with it and I think just rolls me out of my chair. Um, the only concern that I have is that I think that some people may consider this something of a joke. It is no joke. Um, the connection between uh, marmosets and the death of the Milky Way galaxy is profound and deep-rooted and will will not go away or evaporate no much no matter what amount of laughter is is put into this and what I just mentioned in those images the fact that they are are capable of riding chimeras um, into the sunset and 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 destroying their enemies with them is not one to be discarded or forgotten about at, in the least. Um, so I want to continue connecting the idea of prejudice and bigotry and marmosets, and I want to do it along this germline chimeric line. And so the next link discusses the scientific aspects of germline chimerism, where essentially your brain and your balls or your ovaries are in conflict. And that fury, that violent conflict within, is going to erupt without. Uh, so once a marmoset truly has recognized his germline chimeric nature, uh, his brain and his balls will get into such a fierce battle that that battle will essentially um, drive them to the nearest literal chimera that can ride into the skies breathing fire, uh, biting at people, and uh, eventually, of course, destroying the Milky Way galaxy. And you don't have to take it from me. I'm saying we're going to point to the evidence and we're going to prove this beyond a reasonable doubt because um, I've never heard of a moderate marmoset in my life. And all of the reasoning here, by the way, if it convinces you, that's because it's very convincing and it's built on such solid reasoning. It's so great. When you think about the brain and the balls being in battle, this kind of armchair psychology, that whole line of reasoning, I've seen it in other places, Oh, it's so valuable. Um, that, that fury inside is just one aspect of germline chimerism. Imagine if your brother or your sister had identical DNA to you. What kind of loyalty to the troops would that bring about? Do you think you need to argue about morale in that case? No. Marmosets are going to consistently act in favor of other marmosets and with a discrimination, a prejudice against uh, humans where they do not act in our interest, but instead probably in their own interest and at our cost. Um, and this is all before the destruction of the Milky Way. I hope I have time to get to that. It's, it's very important. Um, the last thing about germline chimerism, besides the fury and the loyalty, is the fact that it's kind of a gentler Darwinism, where because as an organism, you don't know who has your genes, you don't know which other person you should be caring for. With humans, 50% of your kids uh, of your of your kids are you. Those they have your genes, so you know who you're working for. So nepotism is going to be very stringent in Homo sapiens, but in in marmosets, that's not the case. So they won't be bogged down by uh, nepotism. Instead, they can release their wrath against all of the things that they know don't have their DNA, all of the non-marmosets, giving them a species um, loyalty that is, is very notable and respectable if they weren't such violent killers. Um, the last thing, I guess, you know, there's a confusion within a marmoset, within a, a marmoset youth, where his brain and his, his reproductive organs are in such violent battle and and it, it's so cute, but it's still so harmful and dangerous and evil that 
the confusion is going to bubble up and bubble through. And I think that you might be confused at various times when you think about this threat. Like, how, how can I really stop the scourge? And just knowing that, that they are germy and that they are... Um, and that there's a line between the Milky Way galaxy's destruction and, and marmosets, and that they can ride chimeras into the sky, might not be enough to give you a cohesive, real enmity towards these, uh, these creatures, these vermin. And that's what I want to build in you. I want you to look at these, these images and think, God, I just hate that marmoset. I hate it so much because I have a bigotry within me, and all of that bigotry can be refocused on the marmoset. And I have this bigotry towards Democrats or towards um, the poor or towards Muslims or Christians or George Bush. And we all have these hatred feelings inside us and they are frequently justified. Um, but the marmosets are the only ones that deserve that. And, and their, their hideous nature, it's just, it's, it's bottomless pit of disgusting fucking primate filth. They're so vile. So I, I hope every last one of them dies. And I'm going to end this video with just a couple pictures of, of some of the, the worse and more disgusting members of that species so that you can see that, indeed, you know, there's no justifying love for a marmoset. Um, all right, take care. Whoa, whoa, stop that good time music. Is that Marmoset wearing baby clothes? Oh, oh, oh no. Just a quick disclaimer at the end. Uh, marmosets are not a code word for any specific special interest groups. Uh, so Democrats, Muslims, uh, Christians, none of these people are Marmosets. Marmosets are something that we bring up when we see people with ridiculous conspiracy theories to tell them about the one justified conspiracy theories or stupid bigotries against big groups because this is the only big group that you can be legitimately bigoted against and that's the marmosets and you know how are they like the muslims at all marmosets don't have political goals they don't have religious beliefs they want to destroy the milky way galaxy and eventually conquer the cosmos on their chimeric steeds. Uh, if you think that is similar to any human group, then you are forgetting the marmoset threat. The marma threat. All right, thanks for watching.